Hello guys, this is Damian from ForexBot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live Forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 5 minute chart of the New Zealand dollar American dollar Forex pair also known as the Kiwi. I decided to approach this chart for my trade because I kind of see something like a pattern over here. Notice that the price has been decreasing over here like during the last maybe nearly couple hours an hour and a half and suddenly the price started moving sideways however the sideways consolidation resembles a falling wedge chart pattern here it is that's a real wedge at the same time I spot something else. When I zoom in the chart, I notice a big hammer candle over here, which was the signal that the price will probably start an increase. This increase over here. This increase over here. As a result, I believe that if the wedge breaks through the upper level, this will be a confirmation that the price will continue an increase. For this reason, I'm currently waiting for this signal to see a breakout through the upper level of the wedge. If this happens, I will simply buy the New Zealand dollar, American dollar for pair, placing a stop loss order at the opposite side of the wedge, maybe below the Hummer candle. At the same time, I plan to stay in the trade for a minimum price move equal to the vertical size of the wedge in its widest part over here taking the distance from this bottom to the top of the wedge then i'll take this distance and i'll apply it starting from the moment of the breakout so for example if the wedge breaks over here my target will be located somewhere over here at 0 0.68 uh 56 maybe or 55 if the wedge breaks later, then the target goes lower as well. At 0 0.6854 approximately. So I will store this rectangle over here and I will apply it in the moment when the wedge gets broken in bullish direction. Then if I go long, I will place a stop loss order. As I said, below the lower the lower bottom of the wedge which is the the lower candle wick of the hammer candle pattern over here which will keep my trade protected and secured and then i will place a take profit order at the top of the rectangle after i apply the rectangle started starting from the moment of the breakout the interesting thing of the wedge patterns uh of the wedge patterns that appear as a reversal because this is a reversal wedge since we had a bearish trend previously the wedge acts as a slowdown of the previous price decrease so if this is the decrease notice that the direction of the decrease is uh, the move during the decrease was very sharp and when the decrease was like completed the price started moving sideways which means that this sharp decrease is currently nearly like a sideways move the price is still like moving in bearish direction but the inclination of the average move is like slight meaning that the previous bearish trend is currently slowing down which is the purpose of the wedge so this slowdown hints that the price might actually reverse meaning that the bears are probably losing their power over the bulls and the bulls might take over also i would like to mention that no matter what the previous trend is bullish or bearish a falling wedge chart pattern always has bullish potential so if we had a bearish trend uh, we have a bearish trend uh, since we have a bearish trend, 
and the price is likely to go in bullish direction, we say that the wedge is a reversal pattern. But if the previous trend was bullish, we say that the wedge has continuation character. So no matter if the falling wedge will have continuation or reversal character, you should remember one thing. The potential of the falling wedge pattern is only bullish. Only bullish. No matter if the previous trend is bearish or bullish. The potential of the wedge is only bullish. And depending on the previous trend, the wedge could act as a continuation or as a reversal. So now I'm going to pause this video and I'll come back to you uh, when I see the confirmation through the upper level of the wedge in order to show you how I open my trade. Okay guys, I am back about half an hour later to show you that the rising wedge is currently breaking through the upper level. And since the price is very high, I am instantly... You know what? I'm not, I'm not going to buy now, by the way. Maybe I will wait for a pullback because the current candle was relatively sharp. So there is a big chance that the price will return. But uh, notice that I'm like well focused. And I am waiting for that pullback. And when the price reaches like half of this big bullish candle, I will instantly buy. Uh, because if I buy now, I will lose like a big part of the potential of the trade. So I will wait a little bit more, like maybe a minute or two. Let me open my clock. 5.43, okay. The thing is that uh, in many of the cases you will see that the breaking candle will actually shoot up uh, with a relatively sharp price move, which will like, in our case, completed nearly half of the potential of the trade. So if I open over here, I will aim like for only this part. Which is not very bad, but uh, still will mess up our risk to return ratio. And I'm buying now. Here it is. All right. Now things went better because I managed to contain some of the spread. Uh, I managed to contain the spread with this like strategic weighting. And the trade after the spread is still below the sh the candle that that broke the wedge in bullish direction. Now let me position the other levels on the chart. Stop loss goes as I said at 1.68 20 27 maybe. Okay, and take profit will go like 0 0.6854 and now I will mark this level with a green line the take profit level here it is and I'm gonna mark also my entry point with white as I always do Okay, now I have all my levels of the chart. Pretty decent. Uh, by the way, I intend to move my stop loss order higher because I, I'm not sure that... Uh, because uh, this way we will have something like uh, 1 to 2 win-loss ratio since the target takes like uh, twice less distance than the stop loss. And there is no point risking that much for such small amount. So I'm going to readjust my stop loss order. So it will contain like the last top on the chart, but not the top of the candle. And this way the trade will be like more reasonable in my opinion. Okay, 
Now I have all the levels on the chart and now I'm going to pause the video again and I'll come back to you later with the results from this trade. Okay guys, I'm back about 4 hours later to show you that after uh, 3 consecutive bullish impulses, the price action has reached my target at 0 0.6854, uh, which has triggered my take profit order and uh, uh, closed my trade on 100% profit. Uh, so now I'm going to do the calculation in order to determine what is the percentage profit from this trade. So I entered at 0 0.6844 uh, and I traded to 0 0.6854 which is 10 pips profit in this trade which equals to 0 0.001 from the current exchange rate of the New Zealand dollar American dollar forex pair. Uh, and when I divide this number by the, by the entry point, which is 0 0.6844, I get a result of 0 0.0014, and 4. And when I multiply this number by 100, I get the percentage profit from this trade, which is approximately 0.15% pure profit from the trade. So I hope you like this video that shows how to trade a falling wedge pattern. Uh, this is pretty much how it works. I will repeat one more time. When you see the falling wedge to break through the upper level, you simply trade for a minimum price move equal to the vertical distance uh, between the upper and the lower level of the wedge in its widest part. As you see, I use this gray rectangle to measure this distance. Here it is. And then I applied it starting from the moment of the breakout, which gave me my uh, which gave me my take profit level and my minimum target in this trade. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next live Forex trading session. And until then, I wish you happy trading.